my god! What the fuck? Meg, what the hell did you do? I made us the same joke. We're exactly alike, you and I. Oh! Now we can be together. Run for your life. What it is, guys, your boy Blasphemous HD. And there's two things in this world that I'm afraid of on Discord. One, a female hitting on me in the DMs, and then when I meet her up to seal the deal, she only tries to peg me again. I don't say again because I let any female go through with it. I say again because a lot of females are into that weird old type of shit nowadays. But in all actuality, we are indeed here to check out a Family Guy compilation. Try not to laugh, chance that you guys have sent to me in the DMs assuring me that it is funny. Let's do this. Oh, that was fantastic. What? It was exactly what I needed. Mm, well, hopefully there'll be no more talk of suicide. Oh, no. I feel better than I've felt in years. Did you know that if you make a female bust nut hard enough, most of her bad thoughts just melt, go away? I've seen it happen on TV. We're going to edit that out. I have my confidence again. I'm ready to go back out there and meet someone. It really be well, like that. I'm glad to be of service. Oh, just one more thing before you go. What's that, my dear? Round six. See you at work on Monday, Griffin. Huh? Oh, I'm gonna have to have a word with Rite Aid about this fake mustache. Always smash your female boss. If you're good enough at it, she'll give you a promotion. Come on, kids. People are gonna start showing up for the costume party any minute. Hey, nice Snoopy costume, Brian. Thanks. Well, I guess it's not true what they say. You can punch Snoopy in the stomach as hard as you can and he won't feel it. That's what? Houdini. No, Brian. Now get up and do the dance. Oh, no, I'm not going to do the dance. Do the dance! <sighs> reward is that to dance to? Uh? Wait a minute. Pre-Soviet Russia? This wasn't on the manifest. Yeah, this is kind of a personal thing. Hey, Pavlov, you dog-teasing dick! Oh. How's this for positive reinforcement? Oh! 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 No! All right, where to next? I want to kill more scientists! Oh. oh my goodness, the queen is going to be here. Why is Brian a horse now? Why do their teeth look like that? Are they all inbred or something? See, this is why you should never have intercourse with your blood relatives, no matter how consensual it is. Because the pullout method doesn't work, and your kids will grow up looking like Cabbage Patch dolls with mismatching teeth. Presently, this is oh so exciting. My favorite part before the queen arrives is yelling wanker at Prince Charles. Oh, they're British. Passes. Wanker! Wanker! I know, I know. Oh. Wanker! Wanker! Yes, I know, yes. Wanker! You're a wanker! Okay, wanker. so they're British. Right, quite right. Spot on, he's got it. I say, a lot of people have turned out to see the Queen. Is that racist? Could make for a grand day. You know, Meg has really flourished since Lois was murdered. What are you talking about? Lois's death was an accident. Which is just what someone who pulled off the perfect murder would want you to think. What the hell are you... Stewie, did you... Did you kill Lois? Of course I didn't, Brian. Remember what you said? I'm all talk. I wouldn't possibly go through with it. Oh my! I'll just poop and fall asleep. Oh! That's some scary shit. Well, there's your motive. A note from the victim threatening Mayor West. What more proof do you want? Yeah, are you trying to suggest that Mayor West's enemy faked a corruption letter and then killed himself? Yes. That's idiotic. But it just might work. What? <laughs> Doesn't get more ominous than that. All right. Let's do it! They jumping him? Uh, we jumping him? Uh, let me go! Let me go, you bastards! You're all gonna pay for this! Oh. Just for that, when the movie of this story comes out, I'm gonna make sure Adrian Brody plays you. I guess that means you don't want anyone to see it. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. That was good. Didn't want to be a mean guy. Want to be a dancer. What the hell? What? Go away! No! 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 See, this is why you never want to fall asleep next to a tire fire. Your dreams won't even know what your dreams are doing. <laughs> 
Sounds like someone got her vibrator working again. Oh, look out, everyone. Double-digit IQ joining the table. Hey, Smarty, think fast. Oh! He knows. He knows it's hot because he's smart. I don't want to talk to you guys. You called me an idiot. Oh, Chris, you must have just misheard us. I was standing right there. How is that possible? Because you're an idiot. That's how. Peter. I'm going to school. Oh, honey, I'm so proud of you. You see, Brian, Meg has a job. Hey, Meg, if you're working for the mayor, you know what that means? Even you're doing better than Brian. Oh! <laughs> hey, everybody, Brian's the new Meg. <laughs> <laughs> Brian's the new Meg. Brian's the new Meg. Yeah, you're the new me. Shut up, Meg. Oh. Last stop. That bus looks hella animated, though. What? This isn't the airport. Oh my god, Rupert, we've got to get out of here! Shit, reminds me of Cleveland, Ohio again. <laughs> Fuck. God damn it! Oh no, no, baby, fall down! No. Is that, is that Consuela? What? What's she doing in the hood? Baby, all alone in street. I take baby home. It's no. me, Stewie. Don't you remember? You used to clean for us. We used to make you use the bathroom at the gas station. Why would she have a gray hair? What? Inch and a half left of your part. Oh my god, you're right. You know, I don't mind so much that you're aging. It's just the way you're shoving it down my throat. Screw you, Peter. Not today. <laughs> oh, wow! Well, I got my job back. Angela's happy again, and she's not going to harass me anymore. Everything worked out perfect. Not really, Peter. Yeah, you cheated on your wife. No, I didn't. I used Mort. Oh my god, I forgot about Mort. I want my two dollars! Yes. 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 Cut. Uh, okay. Uh, nice take, Jenna. But, uh, let, let's, let's try giving the lines a little subtext this time. Your husband's always away on business, and you feel increasingly isolated and unloved. So you begin to think, maybe you should go back to graduate school and finish your dissertation. And that's when you start sucking the YouTuber's penis. I like where this story is headed. <laughs> You guys know I'm a YouTuber now? And that's when you notice the cable man has taken his pants off. Yep. All right, everybody got your bowling shoes? Everybody got your balls? I don't have my shoes. Jonathan, we were just up at the counter. Why didn't you get your shoes? I don't have my shoes either. What the hell? You need your shoes to bowl. Now, why exactly can I not wear my loafers? What is the danger there? Because, Patrick, because, Patrick, <laughs> those are the rules. Just well, because. I think it's just because they want another dollar fifty from me. All right, I'm putting our names in. Dollar fifty. Brent. No, no, don't put Brent. Oh. Put Rock Kickass. He must be making Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria levels of money if he's worried about a dollar fifty. I hear that's what they pay you a week there. I don't know how to change it. I already typed it in. For mine, put Dirk Diggler. I'm not going to put everyone as a fake name. How do you want to do the teams? How about the white guys against the black guys? Patrick, don't be an instigator. I have to pee. Brent, take Michael to the bathroom, please. Okay. Look at me. I've got girl boobs. Give me that, kid. I'm your son, you dick. Sir, please, you're making a scene. No, I'm not. I can do whatever I want. I'm the godfather. <laughs> oh! Uh-oh. I'm so sorry, sir. I didn't know. It's Stanley Tucci. Bobby Cannavale. Hey, Portuguese waiters pretending to be Italians. Get the godfather whatever he wants. Putting that thing in everything. I'm not going to let Meg turn out like my Nerf football in the hall closet. Dad, didn't you say you'd give me whatever I wanted? Well, I want to go out with Michael. Peter, you're being overprotective. Look, why don't you just talk to him? You might find out he's not so bad. Yeah, right, Lois, but I know what my gut tells me. And right now, it's telling me I have indigestion. But I'll suck it up and talk to Michael, even though I've also got diarrhea. Why would you tell people that? Birthday. Happy birthday, bitch! Oh my god! 
dad. Happy birthday, Lois. You guys shouldn't have All done this. For Everyone, birthday, I have bits. something to say. All day for the birthday, bitch. To my dearest Lois Bucket on her birthday. birthday bits. What a journey we've for had birthday, together. Bits. You know, birthday, life say- has a way of changing things. What were once two firm, impressive mountain peaks have become a barren, strip mined muddy landslide that droops ever downward. What were once pink and succulent rose petals now take the form of the shredded, raggedy, blown-out end piece of a practical joker's exploding cigar. Oh! That's enough. Lois, you may not be the young filly you were when I met you, but you're still my reliable old plow horse who's there each day to pull the plow, to help around the barn, and let the husband horse slap a bat chatter now and then. Well, I guess that's it. I love you, sweetheart. Bro, you just roasted this hoe into a new millennium out this bitch. I'm gonna say this to a female who pisses me off. I'm gonna fuck around and get myself shot roasting hoes one of these days. <laughs> you guys shouldn't have done this. Everyone, I have something to say. To my dearest Lois on her birthday, what a journey we've had together. You know, life has a way of changing things. What were once two firm, impressive mountain peaks have become a barren, strip mined muddy landslide that droops ever downward. What were once pink and succulent rose petals now take the form of the shredded, raggedy, blown-out end piece of a practical joker's exploding cigar. Yeah, Peter, that, that's enough. Lois, you may not be the young filly you were when I met you, but you're still my reliable old plow horse who's there each day to pull the plow, to help around the barn, and let the husband horse slap a bat chatter now and then. Well, I guess that's it. I love you, sweetheart. And I have a lovely gift of the batch-slapping variety waiting for you when I'm just the right amount of drunk. To Lois! To To Lois! Lois. (laughs) Oh, God, this is all my fault. If I hadn't pushed you so hard to invite Mr. Weed to dinner, he'd still be alive and you'd still have your job. Don't worry, Lois. We'll get through this. We we just have to scrimp a little, that's all. You know, sell some stuff we don't really need. This will bring in a couple of bucks. Peter, please, listen to me. When we got married, you always talked about your one dream job, remember? And you put that dream aside in order to provide for this family. Or any other form of having sex with attractive women for money? Backbreaking labor, I can assure you, but somebody's got to do it. And that somebody should be me. Bullet, don't get shot by a bullet. Keep your wits about you. What? This place used to be fun. What? You know, this is nice. It's actually the first time I've been on a date since I got the nickname Gutterball. It is nice. Here, hold still. Make a wish. What did you wish for? This. You used me just so you could date my sister. Duh, nigga! Oh my god, Chris? I'm so sorry! What have I done? Oh, crap. Eh, when you're already horny, a mouth's a mouth. Hot damn almighty, a mouth's a mouth. Okay, Dad, you got us in. Now just go. What are you... Are you purring? Do you really think you're a cat? Yeah, no, I... I don't know. Okay, I, I just feel different. I don't care what that report said. You're not a cat. You're what's called a pretentious absorber. What's that? You remember how Madonna lived in London for like a month and then started talking with a British accent? It's that. If I weren't a cat, would I be obsessed with a scratch post? That's not a scratch post. That's Meg's leg. Don't stop! Mmm, this kick cereal is good tasting. And it's good for you. My father can't give me away because he's dead. (laughs) Well, Ah, the pappy now. I think the right thing to do is adopt of age women who look this good. Because they need somebody to take care of them, tell them everything's going to be good, choke them at nighttime while they're wearing a pink ski mask. Like, these are the things that every female needs in her life when she gets to the supple age of like 20, 23, whatever age that her vagina starts to be up and running. You know, like, and, and... We gonna edit that out. Well, then Peter would be happy to do the honors. I'll Plus, do the honors. when's the next time you're gonna get to give a bride away? I know, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. You can give me away when I get married, Dad. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. I... Ah! Cook oh. much? <laughs> Peter, what the hell is wrong with you? What's wrong with me? You're the one punching yourself <laughs> in the face. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late, Lois. Okay, we're doing the swamp monster thing? Wait, if you're daddy, then who? 
Adipose. S -s 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 Swamp Monster! Something's different. Hey, uh, Meg, uh, can you cut that out? Dad? Please don't tell your mother about this. I took an extra job. Bro, she was grinding on him to find his penis like females do when they back it up in the club. <laughs> I likes the club. <laughs> I don't make much money, and Christmas is very expensive. Dad? I'm going to ask you one question, and how you answer it will determine the rest of my life. Where was your penis? Were you the Santa at this mall yesterday? No. Oh, thank God. No. No. He has Three, sex two. with the Santa. No. Oh, he's going to hate me for changing this one. Hello? Stewie? Ryan, is my mouth in my butt? <laughs> yeah, my mouth's in my butt. You've got to fix this. I'm trying. Ryan, where's my butt? No, no, no. Ryan, you did it. No. Oh, f sorry. F wow. Oh, my God. What the hell is that? You can fix this. Just need a little help. What Just the? like how Sylvester Stallone needs help getting rid talking about old man. I'm no white Larry Bird. What do you got? What do you got? Huh? Huh? Come on. Your mother and I are getting a divorce. You are? Yes! Yes! Oh, oh no, we, we worked it out. I'm gonna start telling people I'm the black Shaquille O'Neal. Message. Yes! Well, son, you played good, but your dad is still number one. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever beat you. Hey, Chris, what's with your leg? Oh, my God, that's not your leg. Why would he show him his penis in the first place? Oh, seeing her kiss you like that just made me crazy. Well, I, I guess we're just going to have to learn to control our jealousy. Together. Together. Ma'am, you dropped your napkin. Here's your drink, sir. And yeah, we'll work on it later. I love you, Lois. I love you, too, Peter. What a couple of freaks. God, I need a drink. Waiter, martini and a roofie colada. Nah, she don't do nothing. So, Peter, Lois tells me that you're working at the brewery. I think that's great. A real job. Trading futures, that's not real. <laughs> but the money is unreal. Hey, to real jobs. That's it, Fishman. Shirts off. I want to see who's got bigger pecs. Peter! Well, they look better when they're roiled up. Yeah, we're walking in now. Make sure Tom Tucker knows he has 20 minutes and he has to only talk about the book. No personal questions. All right, are you okay? You good? You, you need anything? All right. All right, we're inside and there is nobody here to greet us. We have no idea where we are or where we're supposed to go. Oh, wait, is that you on the phone over there? Is, is this? This is us. Look over here. here. There we go. He sees us. All right. Hi, thanks for coming. Yeah, hello. We've been here a while. Come on, I'll show you the green room. Well, well, it appears your fates have conspired in our favor, eh, Meg? Look, stay away from me, Neil. Just because we're working together does not mean I have to like you. G give it to me! What's that? Give it to me, Neil! Give it to me! Give it to me, Neil! Yeah, that'll work just fine. <laughs> ah! Hey, look who's here, Diane. It's our bright-eyed young interns. Did you two remember to wear your eager caps? I sure did, Mr. Tucker. Great, because you two are going to have so much fun. <laughs> Don't act any cheerier, Diane. You'll give us all diabetes. Fight me, Tom. Ah! Come on, kids. Ah! Here's we produce our... All right, class, two things today. I'm no good at math, and I don't have a certificate to teach driver's ed, so I hired a math tutor and a driver's ed guy. Okay, so do you use my car, or do you have, like, a special one you brought? Um, I'm the math tutor. Really? No way. So that means you're the... Driver's ed instructor, yes. Well, I'll be a son of a gun. All right. Time to learn math from a black guy, I guess. Brian, get your keys. I need you to drive me to that toy factory so I can get Rupert back. Stewie, Lois sent him back because he's not safe. But Brian, I miss him. Without Rupert, I... Are you watching porn in the kitchen? Come on, man, we eat it here. 
Anyway, I need you to drive me to Middleborough. Middleborough? That's like two hours from here. I'm not doing that. Come on, Brian. Tell you what, you drive me to Middleborough, and I'll teach you my secret to picking up chicks. No. Hey, you, me, ba-boom. All right, Dad, you're on. Hey, PTV fans, welcome to Douchebags. We're out here on the I-95 overpass doing our first segment, I Dare You to Crap Off of That. Basically, we'll spend the day crapping off things that others have dared us to crap off. I dared him. All right, here we go. I say, are those two pigs vomiting up there? <laughs> Uh-oh. The skirt's trying to pull a fast one. Knuckles, get the handbag. Right, boss. Hey, give me my purse, you psycho. Let's see, makeup, chewing gum, the picture of Meg in a two-piece swimsuit. Oh! God, I pray this is not my first memory. Look, everybody cool it. I am not going to put up with this racket for two weeks. I'll hold on to the money. I'm a neutral party, so it'll be safe. Okay, All right. I suppose we can trust you. Now, where is it? What the? Oh, very clever. Take another reach. You forgot your chain. What? Peter, that's not what this is about. See how you like him. Here, I'll even get you started. <coughs> Dad, I don't smoke. Sure, you don't now, but keep at it. You'll get the hang of it. By the end of that pack, you'll be smoking like a real pro. Like a cool kid. Yeah, that's it. Getting smoother, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait till you try it after a meal. Delicious. And after sex, forget about it. It's like putting your penis to sleep in a feather bed. I think I may want more cigarettes. Oh, I'll get you more cigarettes. But I'm pretty mad about my dirt bike. Griffin, get the hell out of my building. Holy crap, Mr. Pewdishman, you're okay. You're damn right I'm okay, and I'm here to reassume charge of my company. Maybe I don't want to leave. Maybe I like being a fat cat. What are you saying? I'm saying it's my company now, and it's better than it ever was when you were running it. Security, we have a situation in the conference room. I'll give you a situation, you fat turd! Gentlemen, please remove this man from the building. What the? I'm Carter Pewterschmidt! This is my company! Throw that guy out! Sorry, Mr. Pewterschmidt, but we work for Mr. Griffin now. You can't do this to me! Do you know who I am? I'm Carter Pewterschmidt! I'm not getting in that elevator! Peter, get in here! You want to tell me what the hell happened to our Thanksgiving turkey? Oh, Dad. Uh, well, last night, Brian and I got drunk and ate the turkey. But before you get mad, we also ate the salad. Damn oh. it! How could you guys do that? Boy, I must have been really drunk. I don't remember any of that. No problem. Instagram remembers for you. Damn. Oh! Ah! Ah! Damn. Peter, we've got a house full of people coming, and they're expecting a turkey. Well, if they're expecting a turkey, I'll just put on Evan Almighty for them. Zap! You and Brian better get another turkey right now, and don't bother coming back until you do. Peter, I don't think we need a donkey for this climb. Of course we don't need a donkey, Lois. It's a status thing here. You, Leatherman, you sell me donkey. I don't know what it is, but you have got it. But, what, 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 I, I can't, I can't believe you, what, uh, I don't know, Doctor. Looking back, I think it may have been real butter. Your husband murdered three children. Marsha, I've done it. I've finished the book, and Snuggly Jeff is dead, and the readers are just going to love it. Paul, I still wish I could talk you out of this. Snuggly Jeff is the most successful children's book series ever. Yeah, but I want to get into writing more serious stuff. You know, something where the reader doesn't have a load in his pants while he's looking at it. Well, we'll talk about it when you get back. Thanks for helping me set up this jungle gym, guys. Lois says Stewie's been getting a little chunky. Ugh, everybody's always commenting on my weight. This is why I almost died from anorexia. You look fat. <laughs> the monkey bars all put together. Oh, God, look at that. They already got Al-Qaeda's all over them. Get, get out of here. Get. Man, they're going to be so good at swinging bar to bar when they invade. Okay, Peter, I've got the directions. Head north on the turnpike. That's going to be the quickest route to Maine. Sure, Lois. Say, ladies, I was wondering if you could tell me... What was childbirth like? 
Oh, Glenn, you have no idea. It's something no man could understand. Think of the most intense pain you've ever felt and imagine feeling that for hours. Hey, Joe, what are you doing? I thought we were gonna go to the clam and get wasted. Ugh, I can't. I'm on duty tonight. And Halloween's gotta be the worst night of the year to be a cop. All you do is drive around, confiscate beer from teenagers, and occasionally handcuff a drunk woman in a sexy costume. Ah, oh, cool! Hey, I got a great idea. How about we ride around with you and steal beer from teenagers? I don't know, you guys. This is my job, and I can't have you fooling around getting into trouble. Hey, when the hell do I get into trouble? Well, didn't you get lost in the grocery store last week? Dad, Mom, there's something I want to ask you. Can I go to school in Paris for a semester? What? Paris? Hey, you know, I have a pen pal in Paris. Would you mind bringing him this letter? <laughs> We're fighting. Meg, I'd love to send you to Paris for a semester, but we can't afford that. But I can pay for it myself. I've been saving up from all my part-time jobs. Yeah, that's smart of you, Meg. You know, sometimes I do part-time jobs for extra cash. Give me money, give me money, give me money. Fear not, pretty lady who ain't never had no relations. I's been sent to bring you the message that tonight you's gonna be getting pregnant with the Son of God. It's a miracle, yay! I am? Yeah, and he's gonna be here soon, so you might want to spruce yourself up. Maybe walk in the creek a little bit. Oh, and he probably don't want me to tell you this, but be ready, because he might give you a little bit of a donkey punch. Look, I, I think you guys are all rushing to judge Kevin without knowing what it was like to be in his shoes. The Lord be out here donkey punching hoes? My nigga, that's what's up. He saw horrific things in a horrific war that only one other person here could possibly come close to understanding. Ida. She was in the military. She's seen battle. She's seen innocent people butchered by war machines. And, and she has a penis and vagina at the same time. We gonna edit that out. I'm sure that Ida, more than anyone else here, can understand and support the choice that Kevin made. Oh, oh. I know who you are, Stewie. I beg your pardon? I've perfected multiverse travel as well. In fact, I've figured out how to navigate with absolute precision. Really? I haven't. We've been jumping randomly from one universe to the next. Did you have the shuffle button on? Oh, my God. There you go. That's why that little symbol mm -hmm. with the two crossed mm -hmm. arrows that, is up there in the corner. Oh, my God, I feel silly. But I can't do anything about it. My device has been destroyed. Well, I've got one of my own. I can use it to send you back. Hold on, I'll get it. Two. All right, let's do it. Hey, what's going on? Well, we've made a decision as a family, Brian. We've decided to take you to a nice big farm upstate. What? Sounds like a trap. A farm with big open fields, Brian, where you can just run and run and be free and no one will ever hurt you. Doesn't that sound wonderful, Brian? Are you ready to go to the nice farm? No! No! You'll never take me alive! <clears throat> what? Okay, I am at full candy corn right now. Oh, these are incredible! Hey, you know something? If we sold these, we could make a ton of money. Maybe we should open our own cookie store. Are you serious? Yeah, why not? I mean, if George Foreman can make electric grills, we can do this. I mean, I've seen that guy get punched in the face a thousand times, and now he's making science stuff. Who'd think that idiot would still be walking around and Muhammad Ali can't even talk anymore? You know, having our own store could be kind of fun. And you'd really do it with me? Absolutely. Oh, Peter, that actually sounds kind of romantic. I always wanted you and me to work on a project together. Oh, let's do it! All right! Now, let's turn up the TV real loud so the kids can't hear us having sex. Ah! Ah! Sex! Sex! Ah! Hey, did ah! you hear the little Chinese man tell you not- Ah! Ah! Sex! Ah! <laughs> oh! Oh, God, buddy, I'm sorry. You okay? Oh! Oh, what happened? Orson fall down? Shut up! Just... St I, I don't want to hit it! Well, serves you right. You spent all that time trying to make Chris jealous, now you have an eating disorder. Just help me up! 
Well, you know, I would, but my doctor advised me against heavy lifting. Ah! Ha! Ah! 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 What, what the... What the devil are you doing? Stop it! Stop it! I'm getting dizzy! Ah! Boss! <sighs> oh, my God! It would have been more realistic if that was his iPhone. I need to make a skit about that, like go down there and save somebody up underwater, reach over, grab my iPhone, <laughs> then go for the surface without even trying to help. Not now! Not like this! <laughs> Peter, what the hell? You chose a turkey over me? I almost died! I swear to God, I thought dogs could breathe underwater. Oh my God, Joe, there's a man on the wing! Peter, there's no man on the wing. There is! I saw him! Peter, stop being ridiculous. I'm telling you, lift up the shade. There's a man on the wing! Oh, <sighs> fine. It's me. I'm the man on the wing. Peter, how the hell'd you get out there? Are you crazy? Get back in here, Peter! What the hell's going on back there? We're losing altitude! Good job, Peter. Good job. Hey, buck up there, sport. At least you gave it your all. I guess you're right. I still feel like crap, though. Well, look at it this way. You may have lost Jillian, but you can at least be happy that she's happy. Plus, you can always call Lauren. No, I can't. Why not? She's never gonna speak to me again. I gave her worms. Oh, my God. Oh my god! What the fuck? Meg! What the hell did you do? I made us the same, Joe! We're exactly alike, you and I! Oh! Now we can be together! Run for your life! My god, we have to get you to the hospital! Well, I'm getting some steam. Picking up steam here, Scotty. You better look out. I don't feel so well. Uh, kind of bad timing, but... Jim? Hey, Lois, that not Stewie kid fell over. Oh, my God, he's unconscious. Peter, what happened? Yeah, you know me, Lois. I don't pry. Peter, he's not moving. We gotta get him to the hospital. You got it, Lois. To the Peter rang. Damn, what is it about golf that always brings out the worst in me? So, Annika Sorenstam, you're uh, quite the female golfer, aren't you? Yes, quite the female golfer. Ha! I knew it! Look! Everybody look! Look! What? She's a fraud! What? Ah, it's not a liquid! It's a great many pieces of solid matter that form a hard floor-like surface! Ah! I can't believe we're actually gonna do this. Yeah, you go in first and I'll go in a minute. Oh, wow! Oh my god! Oh, this is amazing! You dirty girl. Peter, I haven't left yet. You sick whore. That sucked. Jesus has love for everyone. Uh, actually, what Jesus has is the might of Western civilization. Jesus has guns, germs, and steel. Sorry, the wood is very wet. Uh, actually, the wood is very dry. Wet wood hisses, dry wood crackles during uncomfortable silence. I like cutaways where I get to be smart. Maybe. But if the Fishmans can do it, so can we. Yeah, we're just as good as them or any other family. That's right. You guys, we're climbing Mount Everest. Let's do it! Yay! What? I drank seven cups of coffee at the Fishmans! Oh, crap. It's Quagmire. I don't want him knowing about this. He's always trying to horn in on our plans. Hey, what's going on? You guys up to something? Shh, shh, shh. Kids, don't move. Hello? Hmm? 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 
<laughs> I don't think you can go any farther down the ladder than porno, people. So if your mattress isn't here, I'm afraid it's gone. Hey, I bet that's it. Get up, lady. That's my mattress. Oh, my God, Bruce, you do porn? Nah, that's part of the crew. I mostly just powder the ding-dongs. This ain't your mattress, buddy. We just got it, fresh off the boat from Eastern Europe. I was told I would have job as au pair. Instead, I am just bang slab. Ah, oh, damn it. We did get another one yesterday, but... At least it comes with complimentary pee stains. <laughs> Most people gotta pay for such a thing. Ask R. Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna edit that out. You're kidding. We just went and saw a play in Quahog, Rhode Island. Really? Have you ever heard of a passing fancy? I have. Oh, my God, what a load of rubbish. <laughs> we have this thing where we go to the worst regional theater we can find and laugh ourselves sick. And this one took the grand prize. <laughs> <laughs> really? I, I had heard only good things. It was a piece of on a <laughs> oh my god, I got to hear David Mamet curse. Oh, crap. Oh, come on. Oh, let's go, Tom. Oh, work, dammit. Oh, what the hell? What's going on with the news? This is terrible. Yeah, has he lost his mind? Well, I'll be damned. If I knew he was going to do all that stuff I told him, I would have told him more stuff. What? Peter, you told him to do this crap? Yeah, he came to my house when he found out I was a Nielsen family. Asked what I wanted to see. Hey, hey, you know what would be cool? If he did the news with a family of prairie dogs, and whenever he said something sad, they'd pop their heads up all concerned. Peter, you sure that's such a good idea? People rely on the local news to provide them with several stories a year on how saltwater taffy is made. Yeah, if you're a Nielsen family, it seems like you should maybe be a little more thoughtful with your choices. What are you talking about? I'm just having a little fun. For God's sakes, I've just been handed the coolest freaking toy on the planet. Well, you know, except for hungry, hungry Alec Baldwin's. I, I'm not, I, I'm not even touching the lever. So, Dylan, um, shouldn't you be in school? I don't know. It's Wednesday. Up yours! Nice kid. Say, Brian, now that I think about it, how can you possibly have a 13-year-old son when you yourself are only seven? Well, those are dog years. That doesn't make any sense. You know what, Stewie, if you don't like it, go on the internet and complain. Why did you drive the car into the air if you didn't know how to get it back down? Look, Sandy, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Obviously, I didn't think ahead. It's so cold. Let's cuddle together for warmth. I I'm, 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 I'm warm enough. Ah! Wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is all coming back to me. You know, this is actually not too bad a piece of work. This was, was kind of deep, as I recall. You know, Lois, you, you might actually be interested in reading this. You, you, you might actually, you, you might like this. Well, subscribers, there you have it. Tried my damnedest not to laugh, but can't lie to you guys, man. This mug was funny. Make sure to comment, like, and don't subscribe. It's your boy Blasphemous HD, Twizam.